So I'm going to show you a little bit now about being in the van at night. Now normally I wouldn't put all these lights on but for the point of the film I've done so. This is the night position of the van so to speak. As you can see it's dark outside. Now start off by down here plenty of snow outside I left my boots down there unfortunately some of the snow came into the van as can be seen. I had to do my boots up here because normally I come in this way but as I just went on to electric hookup I wanted to make sure that I'd actually got the right place and it was actually properly hooked up inside. I put the driver's seat here very close to this seat. Why is that? It's so I can sit here with my legs up at the table. I might sit cross-legged, I might sit my legs there, haven't decided yet. I shall be doing some stuff related to YouTube and films, so uh, this is how I actually do it. I'll be sitting here at the table and doing it. Now, one bit of advice while we're here, as I want to give you, is to get something like this. This converts from 12 volts into 19 volts for the computer. There is no point in using the stuff that you have with the computer. In this case, I'm on hookup, so it won't make that much difference. But when you're converting from 12 to 240 and back down to 19 via an inverter, that is really very silly. It's pointless, you're losing lots of energy. Get one of them things, bang it up to 19 just once, and that will be much easier. You can use much less electricity. Of course, I will be making the most to charge not only this camera I'm using at the moment, but also my mobile phone and my little charger thing I've got for the mobile phone, which is still in the coat pocket, but you've seen them before, so you won't want to see it. Now, as you can see, I've got towels on the floor. They might look very neat. I'm a single male. What do you expect? I've got this Italian cookware sort of thing here. And um, I did some roast potatoes in this earlier. And I, I use this all the time. It gives it, it, almost the same as an oven. Not quite. Uh, and, but I've done pasties in it. And the pasties really tasted just the same. Uh, with the roast potatoes, yeah, they are better in an oven. Uh, but uh, still, it's not bad. And this is, you know, I was thinking of getting an oven for the van, but why? When you've got something like this, it's absolutely brilliant. And for storage, the handles come off. So it is quite large, but all the same, it, the handles, uh, um, with them coming off, you can actually put them in the drawers. The reason why my kettle is in the sink is because of a lack of space, but hey, the sink's not being used for anything else, so that's as good a place as any. I put the ladder up at night. Um, well, it's not in readiness for going to bed, just in case I want to get something down from up there or from out there or whatever. And... Uh, there we have the washroom, which I'm sure you'd agree is pretty compact and it's not bad for a, a van. It's this small. Let's remember it's 565 centimeters long. And that's it, the vac. So it'll be now just gone seven or thereabouts. And to prove what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing this. I'll be uploading stuff to YouTube, so you'll be able to see it. And uh, maybe even this film, although this film is probably not going to go up for around four months. There is such a backlog of stuff to go up. But I will be doing this, because you know I'm going to be doing this, because you're watching it right now. If you're interested, I've got plenty of other stuff related to motorhomes. Have a look at my uh, website, uh, please. It's www.motorhomefulltime.com. So this is me in southern Germany in 
the snow as you can see from out there signing off oh but before i do it i'm just going to point this out this is the temperature inside sorry that's the temperature i've set for the heating i put it down to six when i went out i came back i've been back an hour nearly and it's still so warm i didn't even notice what does that tell you for the temperature of this van how good it is at holding in the heat and as you can see I haven't put any blinds on the outside of the vehicle it's great I this is absolutely outstanding having said that it is getting a bit nippy now so I'm going to turn it around so it's uh, I've got this on six and I shall turn it up to let's say uh, 17 18 is probably enough for me click and that will hear it come on in a few seconds and then it'll get hot in absolutely no time at all it is outstanding this heating system it is absolutely brilliant now in a larger van you might need it to be slightly warmer but I think it's really really good So, all the best from southern Germany.